everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Barker Designs. This week I am playing with the Lucky Clover stamp set. It is a fun one. Um, St. Patrick's Day is kind of a kickoff for spring for me in my mind. So I love to make spring themed cards this time of the year and Lucky Clover is perfect for that. I'm going to show you how to make this fun little card. It says a good friend is like a four leaf clover, hard to find and lucky to have. So St. Patrick's Day ish, but really you could use it any time of the year. Um, also, I am using, for the bridge and the grass, I am using the uh, Playing in the Rain dies. This is a great bundle. I'm not using the stamp set, but I'm just using the dies. All right, well, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is create that cloud background. All right, ahead of time, I took my um, cloud die from the basic border dies and cut so a piece of our masking paper. And we're gonna use this to mask the, the sky and make some of those clouds. Now, one thing about our masking paper I have found is that it's really sticky. So what I like to do is kind of remove some of that sticky ahead of time by putting it down on the surface over and over. You can also put it on your clothes. I feel like that kind of helps. That way, when you go to pull it off your paper, it's gonna come off easily. All right, so remove some of that sticky before you use it. I'm gonna stick it to my shirt a couple of times <laughs> and it'll be ready to go. All right, so I've got a quarter sheet of basic white cardstock here. I'm gonna put my masking paper down and I'm gonna use Balmy Blue and one of our cute little small blending brushes. And I'm gonna start over on the grid paper and then I'm gonna just move across the masking paper, all right? And then I'm gonna pick it up. And this time I'm gonna kind of move it around. I don't want it to be exactly in the same place every time. So I'm gonna move it around and do the same thing. And I'm just gonna continue to do that all the way down. The masking paper is great because it stays in place. You don't have to worry about it slipping. Okay, I think I'll go back in the middle again. The reason why you wanna start on your grid paper is because you can see when you first set your, your blending brush down, you get kind of that hard edge, that blob of ink. And you don't want that on your, on your card. You could also start on the blending paper and move your way up like that. All right, I'm gonna do one more, and then I think we'll be good to go. And that look like fun little billowy clouds. I love doing this. All right, there we go. Nice little background. Um, okay, let's see, what are we gonna do next? Let's glue on our rainbow stripes. I have cut uh, several, if I can get them to pick up, several quarter inch wide pieces of cardstock. And I will show you as I go, I'll tell you what they are as I go. And they're five and a half inches. I'm gonna start here with a green and I'm gonna just kind of start up here like this. All right, and I'm gonna work out and then back down. I'm just putting a thin, very thin bead of glue and we'll set that right there. And then we'll get this one. So I'm not telling you the colors, am I? I started with Granny Apple Green, and then this is Tahitian Tide. This is Gorgeous Grape. Um, and now we'll do Daffodil Delight. And I'm trying to space them equally apart probably like a, maybe, a, I don't know, a 16th of an inch. And then we've got pumpkin pie. Flirty flamingo. And last but not least, melon mambo. Oh, 
All right, let's set that aside to dry for a few minutes. Let's make our other pieces. I've got a, a circle here and I'm gonna stamp the sentiment. It's fun little saying in gorgeous grape. Right in the middle. And then I'm gonna take my granny apple green and I'm gonna stamp these little clovers, but I'm gonna stamp off first before I stamp them because I don't want them to be too overpowering. So stamp off on your grid paper and then stamp. Isn't that cute? All right, now we've got to stamp the little clover right there on basic white. And there's no dye for this, so I'm gonna use my paper snips. Um, if you don't like to fussy cut, or if this is just a little bit too little, you could always punch it with a small circle. Um, but if I use my paper snips, and I just take my time, work my way around, I like to leave a little white border around and cut that paper off as you go, then uh, it's not too bad. All the way around. This little clover reminds me of a 4-H club my kids were in. It looks just like that 4-H clover. All right, there we go. All right, we've got our little clover. Now, I also cut out a gold foil bridge and four pieces of grass, if I can get this one picked up, from Granny Apple Green. All right, so once we have this, and it's mostly dry. I'm gonna take my scissors and cut them off. All right, let's get those out of the way. So see how I, I cut them with the edge of the cardstock. I'm gonna come back with my little clovers here and let's grab that grid paper. And I'm gonna stamp them along the bottom. Full strength this time. I didn't stamp off. Let's do one right there. I feel like we need one right there. Right there. Okay, so now we're gonna build up our layers. I've got dimensionals. And I'm gonna just put this circle here to cover up most of the rainbow, like this. Okay. Now I'm gonna take, let's make sure that that is straight. Now I'm gonna take my um, bridge and I'm gonna kind of bend it a little bit like that. And let's, we're gonna put glue on just the ends. I just kind of want it curved up a little bit. Oh, it's a little bit too high, isn't it? We don't want to cover up our words. There we go. All right, and now I can glue on the grasses. I'm gonna, on each end, I'm gonna put one turned that way and one turned the other way. The dies have two, uh, the die set has two grasses in there. So one is facing left and one is facing right. Okay, let's get, whoops. Let's get our, oh, come on guys, stay with me. Gotta hold them down for a second. I'm gonna get this little clover and I think, why don't we do a mini dimensional? I haven't used any dimensionals. Oh yes, I did on the circle. We'll put that right there. Now, last but not least, we have to add some gold at the end of our rainbow. And I have got the adhesive back sequins and they come in two sizes. So I'm gonna kind of vary it, small and large. 
These just look like gold coins to me. I'm using your my take your pick tool to pick them up. Really helps. There we go. Oh my gosh, so fun. All right, last but not least, I've got to finish it up, put it on our card base. And I'm just gonna adhere it flat with my stamp and seal. Like that. And let's make the inside fancy too. I've got a piece of basic white and I'm just gonna take those fun um, shamrocks and stamp them across the top and the bottom that we could even take this other one and stamp it a couple of times like that and then we'll put this on the inside and you've got a fun springy card perfect for March all right now you guys make sure you hop back over to my blog there's a free PDF there um, it'll have all the measurements and supplies, and there will be two other Lucky Clover projects there for you as well. Thanks, guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye-bye.